I get asked quite often, um, what books do I recommend? How do I know uh, if I'm adding books to my classroom library or my school library or my public library, you know, which books are um, the best or okay? And what I tell people is um, the book's going to give you a lot of information. So certainly, you know, check that out. Look at, you know, who's written it, who's illustrated it, what does it say in the back matter? And then also um, a lot is available on the web. You know, check out the creators' websites and, um, and see what they are uh, representing about themselves. A lot of people will say, well, um, you know, if they're, they're native, then yes, that, that book is recommended. And that's not necessarily always the case. It's not always the case if someone's not native that the book is awful um, or not um, well-written. Um, I think it is a, it's a much higher hill to climb and to do it well. Um, if you don't have um, a lot of help from others, it can very easily come off as written for non-native people. My criteria when I look at a book is who has been centered and who is this book written for? Second to that, you know, I look at what, what work has this person done, you know, and, and people a lot of times will say, well, but if it's fiction and if it's fiction, <laughs> you know, I'm like, there still is writing from a place of giving those native characters their full humanity. And um, that is not the easiest work to do, but it's necessary if you're going to write a work that to me should be given to young people. You know, the, the majority of young people only get access to books because they've come from gatekeepers, whether that's someone's family or um, a community member or the librarian, or the teacher, you know, until they're a teen, they generally are being taken to the public library. They are being um, given access to the school library at certain times, or they are being told, yes, you can go and select a book in the classroom library. And all of those decisions then are also influenced by what that person puts in you know, those libraries, right, in those collections. This similarly with what a family brings into its home. So until that child's a teen, um, they could have missed out on a lot of wonderful representations, you know, because that's not what they've had exposure to. I always tell people like Google's your best friend. You can find lots of lists that have been curated by people um, that tell you what, you know, um, are, are books that are well done. And the place that I always tell people to start is look at the American Indian Library Association's website. They give awards every two years. These are people who are working in libraries that serve Native people or they themselves are citizens of Native nations. And so they are very familiar with what is being published in the collections. And that's, that's a great place to start. 